In this video I'm going to show you how to add a current date line to a line graph and that line will always be at the current date. So we start with our data table here. We have, uh, in this case, we're talking about a project. So we have uh, budgeted spending and actual spending. So we've got two lines here. Then what we want to do is we want to add a line that represents our current date. So I've added another data series here, current. And I have two values. And those values are after the set of dates and the budget and actual. And because what we're doing here really is we're creating an extra line that's a vertical line. So the first value is going to be the minimum value of all of the budget and actual. That's because I want the line to start at the bottom of the graph and then go up to, so the uh, top value is the maximum. So it's going to go from the bottom to the top. That makes sure that we show exactly where we are on the date, regardless of what the value is. We know that it will it will cover that. And the dates that we have here is simply using the formula today. So it's always picking up the current day. You know the date is always going to be accurate, and this is just obviously the same value. So when we create the graph, so one other thing that uh, I wanted to show you here is so we're going to use our typical uh, inserting of a regular line graph here. And so we have our inserting of our line graph. And you can see how uh, Excel has recognized that it's dates along the x-axis. We have our current and we have our two lines, but they're broken up. There's something missing. Well, by default, what happens is that Excel does not continue a line if there's missing data. And around our current date here, we're missing the data for our budget and an actual, so it does not put it in. But you can change that. Simply go to the Select Data button on our Chart Design ribbon and to our Hidden and Empty Cells settings. And then this dialog box says Show Empty Cells as Connect Data Points with a Line. So this connects them between those two points. So I'll click on OK, click on OK again, and now we have our orange and our blue lines representing the budget and the actual projected continuous and our current date there. So in the graph that I showed at the start, all I've done there is I've added some formatting uh, of data labels and formatted the, the line. But that's how we can add a current date onto a line chart. Now obviously if you wanted to have a date, let's say one week out, you would just simply change that formula to today plus seven, seven days for one week. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.